resident Dew fanatic. We're continuing our Rise Mountain Dew Energy review series today. We're moving into the halfway point, and it's going to be a tropical flavor. Mountain Dew has had a variety of tropical flavors, and generally they're not like any one of them like the other. So you take Southern Shock and, uh, shoot, what was it, Solar Flare? I think it was the 7-Eleven flavor. Those two are pretty much the only ones that had any similarity because they were the same flavor. But you look at Typhoon, the Game Fuel flavors that have been tropical, um, the Fruit Punch Kickstart, all these sort of tropical and punch type flavors, usually pretty different. Um, the mainline flavors are the ones that I think are the best because they tend to stay towards the citrus background and don't rely too much on adding you know, cherries, berries, all the, the more, I guess, red fruits, if you will. But today, that's probably not the case based on the actual can. We've got Tropical Sunrise. Wish it was a tequila sunrise. I've got the Eagles shirt on and everything. It'd be perfect. But again, if you missed out on the previous videos, Rise Energy, new line, double the caffeine of Kickstarts and of the Game Fuel line that... Uh, is launched under AMP. There's that. It's a combination of artificial sweeteners and fruit juice, so it's only 25 calories. It has your B and uh, yeah, your B vitamins and uh, A vitamin and zinc. So and, and C, of course. I mean, it's fruit juice, duh. So you have your array of things that would be in an energy drink, minus some of the additional chemicals. And uh, yeah. Pretty straightforward from that. So, Tropical Sunrise. No idea how it's going to stack up to the other ones, obviously. Haven't tasted it. So, let's get it poured out, see what it looks like. Very uh, yellow green. Almost like original dew, and that uh, makes me nervous because Kickstart and Game Fuel both did like, you know, watered-down versions of original do. so I hope that's not what we have here. Hopefully they uh, put a little more creativity into this. Pineapple. So, if I had to guess, we're on more of the Typhoon, since it was a, a pineapple-heavy tropical flavor, and Maui Burst. So, uh, that's what I'm expecting now. Yep. Um, it, it's basically Typhoon without whatever else they added to it, whether it be strawberries or cherries or whatever. And, uh, you know, Maori Burst, of course, which is the straight pineapple flavor. Um, I like it. It's, it's good, but, you know, it's, it's one of those things that already exists. So I suppose... It's good for those that want a lower calorie option to have that flavor. You know, you're not getting a horrible diet aftertaste, but, you know, this is something that we already have. It's like when they did uh, the Raspberry Citrus Kickstart. Voltage is Raspberry Citrus. They're basically the same flavor. It's just, you know, what level of sugar do you want? So, I don't know. It's, it's good. It certainly is. It's... Worth your money if you like pineapple, if you like dew, you put them together, it's, it's a match made in heaven. But, you know, you have to think of it from the perspective of someone who's expecting something that's going to be a new experience, and it's going to be a reason for me to buy this line specifically. So, if I had the choice between the two, I'd probably go with the Maui Burst and give Dollar General my money. But, you know... I might be out in the place this all, all they got, you know, unless it's, you know, some other dew flavor that uh, I'm not particularly caring for, you know. I'll go for this. But it's, uh, it's not as exciting as I'd hoped for. So, as these roll out, continue to try them. It's, it's definitely good, so I don't think you're going to be disappointed in terms of uh, having tried this. It's, uh, it definitely will hold up well above many of the Kickstarts. Especially, you know, we were talking about, you know, tropical and punch flavors. Um, the original Fruit Punch Kickstart, much better. Much better uh, this flavor is over that. So, 
I do recommend it. So far, I haven't had one of these that I think is bad, but, you know, th this had the opportunity to be something more, and I'm just slightly disappointed that that wasn't the case. So, if you did try it, or any of the others, let me know what you think. How are they stacking up against each other? It, we're, you know, we're halfway through this now. We've done three of them. We've got three to go. I still have not located the peach mango flavor, so that one's going to be on hold. But I did finally find the berry flavor. I was uh, a little nervous about finding that one. So hopefully we'll have them all in hand soon and these videos will keep rolling out. Um, but that uh, will pretty much bring us to a close for today. I, I think it's pretty great we've had a run of Mountain Dew videos lately of new things to try. Probably the biggest run since we had in 2017 when we had two new kickstarts, the spiked lemonades, and two new label series, plus whatever else they decided to release that year. We've had mainline flavors this year in uh, Major Melon and the Zero version, plus this, then we're going to get the Baja uh, editions later in the year, and uh, probably some other things that are slipping my mind right now. So let's keep it as short as possible. Let's end it here. Do the do.